to make sure that we didn't miss anybody. And again, just one more time, I'm really, really sorry. And thanks so much for all of your help um, and just for your patience as well. So if you're ready, Brogan, we can go ahead and get started now. Sure. Perfect. So do you want to go outside and then we'll kind of have a look outside first or do you? Yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah, that's right, no problem. Oh gosh, it is windy. <laughs> Do you mind kind of popping back just a little bit further if that's okay? I know it might kind of go a bit funny on the Wi-Fi, um, but just so everybody can see. And then do you mind doing a pan out to see what's there on the right-hand side and then obviously what's on the left as well? And these, these parking spaces, are they unallocated or are they kind of on an allocated basis or what's the situation there? They're not necessarily allocated, however, with the neighbors, um, we tend to have our own set spaces, if that makes sense. So we yeah. do tend to set spaces free for certain neighbors. Okay. And then, um, so would you also mind confirming, what is that on the right-hand side? Um, just obviously on the other side of that fence there. Oh, over here? Yes, yes. That's the cinema at Fort Canard. Perfect. So you're right there then. Okay, excellent. And then is it the case that you guys ever get, I mean, I know it's probably going to be way different now because of lockdown, but is it the case that you guys ever felt whilst you were here for, gosh, almost four years now that you guys ever felt that you had any noise issues or, or, or problems with, with people coming in and out because it's the rear side of it or traffic? No, not necessarily. Um, with it being the cinema in particular, um, you tend to get the traffic of customers when it's the front way, so it's a complete opposite as to where we stay. Um, the very quiet area, I mean, at the moment, this is what generally is like, um, especially with us just being off of the main road out west Fort Canard, it can get obviously busy with traffic, but we never hear traffic. I'll, I'll actually stop speaking so you can hear it. I know it's windy just at the moment. And then <laughs> yeah, of course. Do you, do you mind panning out on the left-hand side just to see? Because obviously you're just at the end of the cul-de-sac there. Yeah. Or is that chalk art that, that the kids have been drawing in the street? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Sure. Yeah. To the NHS and stuff. Oh, that's nice. Right. And then is that the same, obviously, just with the, the parking there? If anybody had any friends or when you guys have friends and family um, yeah. ever come visit? That's correct, yeah. Perfect. So that's spaces there so this is pretty much what it's like um, on an everyday basis there's plenty of spaces and like I said we have two vehicles to our household and it's pretty much the same when it comes to other households there's, there's two to each household so this is what it's perfect. like on a normal day perfect well we can head inside now because I know it's quite windy <laughs> thank you uh, Perfect. So as we're kind of heading in, we'll just, yeah, if you just want to start it off, and like I said, we'll stay quite quiet. And again, if anybody has any questions, you can use the, the chat feature. I'll try to kind of message over just to make sure everybody gets it. Um, but yeah, if you want to see there. So even though it's quite overcast outside, then that is, you still get quite a bit of natural light then and from both the front and the back. Yeah, that's correct, especially with the gable end window as well. That was an additional feature which we requested just to bring, out, bring a little bit more light into the room itself. Perfect. And then is that obviously the doorway just to the left um, on the other side of the TV? Is that an understair storage cupboard or what is that? That's correct, yes. So we've just got things such as golf clubs, um, Hoover, iron board, and the electricity boxes in there as well. So there is plenty of space. We've just, it's, it's organized chaos in here, I'd like to call it. <laughs> but 
This is where we put everything in here. Perfect. Great. If you're ready to head into the kitchen, we can try that as well. Sorry, I just need to move my cat out of the way. <laughs> well, this is lovely. So when you're going through here, do you mind kind of even just showing where some of the appliances are? So obviously if there's the integrated um, dishwasher and things like that, if, if you don't mind opening yeah. it, just to show everybody. So the freezer and uh, fridge freezer is here. Great. And the dishwasher is here under the sink. Mm -hmm. And we have your oven called appliances. And in here is where we have the boiler um, too. I don't know if you can see, but the lights are on today. Oh, okay, there. so you've got like the spotlights underneath. Yeah, probably because it's quite bright in here. <laughs> so, there's... so you guys, you bought this off plan from Barrett's, is that correct? That's correct, yes. And we actually upgraded this kitchen to the top tier. Um, so we have like additional cupboard space and it's the AG appliances and everything is pretty much integrated, um, which makes it a little bit more sleeker, yeah. we felt. And then our spotlights as well. Would you be okay to open up some of the cupboards? Would that be all right? Just even to show some of Of course, the yeah. And so the soft touch kind of closed drawers, is that correct? Yeah, uh, quite nice actually. I mean, obviously, the stretch as well. I think some people get a little bit more interested in that. <laughs> That's great. And then we've got the splash back along this wall here, which is a nice feature. It saves you having mucky walls, I suppose, on your cooking. Absolutely. <laughs> which is all really kind of sleek colors and really it's neutral. And if somebody wanted to come in and put something else in terms of their stamp, it's really, really simple. Yeah. So. Exactly. Great. Yeah, we can either head into the utility room or we can have a look outside as well, whichever one you want us to do. That's fine. So here we have the wash machine, um, microwave, toaster, and my husband's beer keg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And will the tumble dryer be something that you're leaving behind? Excuse me, the um, yeah, the tumble dryer there. We, is that something you'll be leaving behind or taking with yeah. you? Yeah, we'll be leaving that behind um, with us. So that's an AG um, lab map. Great. And then panning behind us. So we've got a door here, which closes off into the WC downstairs. Great. And so just to reconfirm, so the washing machine actually is integrated into the, the kitchen, is that correct? And so that's just the tumble dryer there? Or is that... Oh, no, no, that's the washing machine. That's the washing machine. That's okay, washing perfect. Machine. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to double check. Great. That's fine. Perfect. Perfect. And have smoke alarms in here as well. 
um, which is obviously standard when it comes to new builds. Right. Perfect. We can head outside and see if that's so the garden has been fully landscaped um, with brand new turf, paving, chips, um, and leveled out as well in comparison to when we first got it. Yes. <laughs> Which always makes a big, nice difference. And you guys have then a side entrance there just where your bikes are, is that correct? Like that, you that's see. correct, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. so yeah. We've actually got an entrance here as well. Originally, the wheelie bins used to um, reside here. Mm -hmm. um, but this is an optional one. It's, it's only if you don't have the side access. But with us, we use... I'd say. Perfect. And obviously just with the direction of the gardens and stuff, how, how kind of much sunlight do you guys actually get in the garden? Do you, did you kind of put this into the paving area back here because this is really where you get the most sunshine or? We, we tend to get sunshine from 11 o'clock um, till about I say mid afternoon, which is quite nice. And down here it's quite, it's very much a, a heat trap, especially last summer when it was uh, really, really nice for us in the past couple of weeks. It's been really, really beautiful. And as you'll see here, we, we tend to have our breakfast, lunch, dinner out at this area here. Um, but yeah, we, we do get sun, actually. I'd say it's, it's definitely halfway up to the uh, turf, if that makes sense. Perfect. I know it's overcast today, so it's not really the ideal time, but if the sun does pop out, you'll be able to see what exactly it comes to. And then this is the side entrance here. Right, so that just then takes out, so that'll be way easier. Outdoor tap here. Okay, perfect. Really bend. Sorry if it's really windy. Okay. <laughs> Which is back over to the side, great. Yeah. Perfect. I'm just hoping the sun can make an appearance so I know, you can I, see it. And it's been <laughs> had such good weather for the last couple of days as well. So um, yeah, we, if we want, we can head upstairs and then obviously, because yeah. I think because we started so late, um, we may, or we had the issues, <laughs> I have to apologize again to everybody. We may need to kind of do a couple of rounds of this one, just so everybody, because I've had a few people join in a little bit kind of late. Um, of so yeah. That's fine.
So this is what you guys use as your master bedroom, is that correct? That's correct, yes. Perfect. And so will this be just above the living room? Because if you've got the, then the two windows here on the gable end, is that where this one is on the front facing? Or? That, yes, so again, the additional gable end window, main window, and the side window. I'll just show you the wardrobe that we've got here. Perfect. Got a couple of rails in here and up there. Main store things such as towels. Great. Plenty of space for shelves as well. But we've just never got around to putting them up. <laughs> and it's worth noting as well, in this room, the thermometer is the thermometer in here is, is controls this room only okay. and the thermometer downstairs controls the rest of the house so it's a separate connection if that makes sense perfect it's really bright just obviously having those kind of three windows there that's very very bright in terms of how much natural light that's you get right. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Um, nice bright room, yeah, for sure. Okay. Are you, will you be taking away kind of all of your light fixtures as well? Or are there any that you're going to be leaving? Or um, what's the kind of situation with that and maybe some of the extras like your curtains? Um, we will be taking the light fixtures for sure, as well as the curtains, but I believe just leaving the blinds, carpets, but there is some items that we will be selling, um, if that makes sense. So, so kind of like, open, like open to negotiation mm -hmm. and things like that. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah that's, that's correct, yeah. Just pan into the bathroom now. Do you mind if I ask, Morgan, if you're not going to get too wet, um, is it possible to even turn on the shower just to see, like, in terms of the water pressure and how much that... Perfect. Second bedroom there.
So is this overlooking still on the front or is this overlooking at the rear? This is overlooking the rear here. Okay, perfect. And into the third bedroom. And again, this is looking out onto the rear as well. Perfect. And then the hallway, we've got the attic up here. And with the attic space, is there a ladder, like a Ramsey ladder, anything with it? Or do you guys just bring in step ladders to go up there? We just bring in ladders to go up and store the usual things such as Christmas tree, um, suitcases, etc. However, um, there has been a few neighbours who have recently installed a Ramsey ladder um, and floored the whole attic space and made it into an additional room such as a walk-in wardrobe which is pretty pretty big for a walk-in wardrobe or an additional bedroom as well um, yeah. would, you, would you mind going into the second bedroom and then even just showing the the depth of the wardrobes there if that's possible yeah sure so, the depth of the wardrobe yeah i don't even know what the depth is if i'm honest um it's fine. My husband would be better to answer it. Um, Could, is, is it okay if we see into it? Would that be all right? Just even to see into it? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Um, the only thing is I've got like legit all my honeymoon clothes and obviously I've got no honeymoon to go to. So, um, okay, so it's built in there. Good. Excellent. Yeah. So we've got that's a rail up there. Great. Yeah. I can get the answer for that. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. I think I think just even just to being able to like visually see it. Yeah, exactly. And there is additional space in here into the main bedroom. This is what quite a few people um, have done. Is they've fitted a wardrobe in along here. Mm -hmm. um, but for us, we just kind of wanted to leave this there because we've got a wardrobe in here, which was an ample amount of space for us, if that makes sense. Um, we kind of left this there. You'll be able to see there, it's kind of quite a large area. If you were to put a nice big wardrobe in. Another thing is we've you know, got chrome fix fixings throughout as well. Um, And then spotlights are carried up up here. Bills in the bathroom. And a good feature about this as well, Dana, is um, we have windows in all of the rooms, which was kind of a bonus for us too. Yeah. Especially with the bathroom, um, the way it's situated, um, which is always nice to have a window in the bathroom. Absolutely. <laughs> So you guys have, so basically the, the square footage, I think, because when I was reading on the home report, the square footage said it was approximately kind of 82 square meters. And that, again, mm -hmm. that's give or take if, a little bit in terms of what the surveyors are saying and what the, um, the kind of our photographers have been able to take. But um, mm -hmm. so you guys bought it just, you're kind of just coming up to kind of four years in terms of how long that you guys were on it. Um, that's correct. Yeah. And so it was bought, yeah. So the kind of build was about 2016. Is that right? That's correct, yeah, June 2016, Perfect. Um, we yeah. Perfect, yeah. It's a nice feature. And that's another here as well. 
Perfect. Well, we can, if you don't mind, kind of heading downstairs and we can try to do like another tour of there for anybody who may have joined in kind of partway through. That's fine. Well, yeah, okay, that just cut out for just a minute, but that's... You know. Yeah, sorry, that was a battery. Seeing it was low, I've charged it all morning as well. <laughs> so that's the other thermometer over here in that corner. So that does all, does that do only the downstairs or does it do everything apart from the master bedroom? That's correct, everything apart from the master bedroom. That just saves you from having to kind of get up out of bed when it's cold or hot. <laughs> exactly. And you can set timers and everything for certain days of the week too, which is always a, a bonus. Mm -hmm. I'll just go through to the kitchen as well. And again, for those who have just joined, um, just to confirm, this is the fridge freezer, fully integrated um, dishwasher, oven hob, and the boiler is in here. And as I said earlier, that this kitchen, we upgraded the kitchen with the specific units, handles, splashback, the AG appliances as well and had everything fully integrated so it's just a bit more sleeker and cleaner. Got spotlights under here as well. Uh, lights along the tinker plates, which is quite nice. Especially at night. And again, spotlights throughout the kitchen too. And then into the utility, which is our washing machine, microwave, toaster, beer machine, just like the game. And then double back and on ourselves, I've got the WC downstairs. I'll just go outside back into the garden if that's okay. Great, now that's perfect. We've also got like hopper windows here as well, if that makes sense. I forgot to mention that earlier. Oh, great. Which is quite nice to have open. But we tend to just leave the back door open when the weather's nice. 
And in terms of like the neighborhood, is there a mix of, is it like a bunch of young families or couples or a mix of people of different age groups or like with your neighbors, I guess just the one on the, on the immediate side from you there? Yeah, the one on the immediate side, um, they're probably in their 30s married couple with just a new baby. Um, both of them work at the hospital, one's a nurse and the other one's a pharmacist, really nice people. Um, the general consensus is mixed ages um, tend to be on the older side, if that makes sense. Um, so not to offend anyone, <laughs> but um, like, I would say a mixture of 50 um, middle-aged And it's quite generally quiet, especially at this given moment in time. It's became a real community, especially with we're helping it out with each other, going to the shops, checking in to make sure everyone's got their shopping. Um, and there is a few kids that um, stay in the cul-de-sac. Um, yeah, a nice mixture of people, actually. As I said earlier, this is all newly paved, as well as the turf's just been laid with the chips. You can hear the kids playing in their garden, a couple of doors down. I'll take you around to the side. We so just store the bins here, Got an outdoor tap. This is our side gate. Quite a big space this area here in particular. Um, we just decided to leave it right there. Um, planters or a uh, bench, etc. there. And then this is the front of the house. Um, you'll see the comparison to the old slabs with the new ones as well. As I mentioned earlier, um, we have two vehicles. We get parked quite behind. All the neighbours tend to leave each other a space, albeit there's no one else. Are we able to go back into the um, kitchen, Brogan, and could you actually show, mm -hmm. and do you mind pulling out where the dishwasher is, even just to show, because I've had somebody reach out. Um, I believe that there are some issues that not everybody can hear. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. yes, I'm just, Louise is getting a few messages. I've gotten a few messages on Facebook, which I'm just responding to. But the good thing is, is I am recording all of this. So as soon as we're finished, I'll download it and then upload it to YouTube and send the link out so everybody can see it. So um, yeah, I can only apologize. Louise has tried to send a chat as well, which I found out that that's disabled. So we're having, we're having a great Sunday. So yes, hopefully next week starts out much better. But yeah. That's okay. Perfect. And do you mind showing the boiler as well? Yeah, sure. Which I just keep like toilet rolls and things like bags stored in here. Like a few cupboards as well, just for a little too. Right. 